Let's look at the she part in addition to the videos that you'll have access to in the PowerPoints or via link, just to orient ourselves again based on some things that we learned in the laboratory about the human heart. And so on the she part, if we're thinking about how can we orient ourselves that this is the anterior of a she part, we can see clearly that we've got an anterior interventricular sulcus and those coronary vessels are hidden under there in the fat that you see, but you can see this line here. And so that this would be the uh, right side of the heart and this would be the left side of the heart. Notice that it's, it's very large. We're thinking about the pulmonary trunk. If we're thinking about the pulmonary trunk, which I said was kind of like the nose on your face or the thing that you want to always find first on the heart. Well, here it is on this sheep heart. So the pulmonary trunk is right here. I've put the probe in it. There's the pulmonary trunk. Normally it would split into the right and left pulmonary arteries. And we note that the aorta would be right behind it. And there is the aorta right behind it. So on the human heart model, you'll see the pulmonary trunk, which is the first blue thing on the superior anterior surface of the heart. And then right behind it, you would see the aorta coming over into the aortic arch and down behind the heart. You'll also see the superior and inferior uh, vena cava on the she part on the right side going into the right atrium. Here's that little right auricle, that right ear of the heart. And then here's the left auricle, that left ear of the heart. Those are just things to help you out based on what we did in laboratory with the human heart. And you can see here, here's a nice example of the posterior interventricular sulcus, and we know that the coronary vessels would be under that fat pad. The coronary sinus and the atrioventricular sulcus is here. Let me reorient this for you. Again, let's find the nose on the heart or the pulmonary trunk. You guys know it's not called the nose, it's just a reference. So pulmonary trunk. If we were to go to the left side of the heart, this side, the side that carries oxygen and trace this sulcus around the side, you will see that there's a line here. And this is that horizontal line, the atrioventricular sulcus. And underneath it, you would find the coronary sinus going all the way back to this right atrium to return the deoxygenated blood, all right? So one more time, there's the pulmonary trunk right behind it would be the aorta, and then behind that would be the superior and inferior vena cava. Anterior interventricular sulcus,